I should have gone Rossberry, by the way. I think I still kill, right? If I miss through Bright Powder, it's just really unfortunate, but if it's Hex on the switch and it's just kind of unfortunate. Bright Powder miss means I lose Pangoro. And this freeze, like, fr this switch is like free 50% of the time. Please, Scorching Sands. Nice. Alright, now I just need to hit. Nice. Alright. We're good. Sir Glock has got it under control. Hey Leute, ich weiß nicht, wie es euch geht, aber jedes Mal, wenn ich durch Essen fahre, denke ich mir, wenn so Essen aussieht, wie sieht dann bitte Kotzen aus? Alright, um, this trainer seems pretty... What the f*** is blunder policy? The up speed if you miss. Okay, this knockdown is kind of a meme, come on. The rest seems kind of dangerous. Okay, can we KO the scissor through the Aukaberry? Yeah, that's what the f***ing I'm- Oh yeah, because we're unnerved! Get the f*** out of here! Dude, Houndoom has just, like, been the- the premier lead. The thing is, like, every Pokemon I have right now has to be performing, because I only have eight mods. <laughs> but nobody's, like, been a box warmer. Everyone's been, like, cycling. I think the worst performing one is probably Miltank? Or maybe Pangoro. Just got here, how likely are you to whip this fight? This is the hardest fight of the day so far. Alright, all we do here is bait the U-turn. And then he goes Tangeroth. Um... And this is guaranteed Leaf Storm, which we're gonna have tanked by Breloom, which is not great, but... It's the best we can do. Sludge Bomb is highest damage here, and we're gonna go into... We, we can't go camera up first, unless we, like, we need to start charming. We're pretty likely to survive two power whips after Citrus. No, we're not because we're getting sludge bombed as well. Okay, so we need to go to mill tank first. And then we're gonna charm. Okay. So I think Miltank HP is valuable. However, if we Seismic Toss once, Camera Up can kill from there. Um, high damage move right now is Leaf Storm. And uh, I am dead to Leaf Storm crit. But I think so is Breloom, right? I think Camera Up just always wins, right? We flamethrower twice. We will be taking a leaf storm for about 35 and then a power whip for about 32. And then another hit actually. Plus citrus berry recovery puts us at... So we're taking like 70, one of, we're at like 20% at that point. Um, it's always... Um, Scizor, but the problem is... Oh, I think I have to pivot one more time. Or alternatively, I think I just Seismic Toss. The problem is if Camerupt kills it, we're getting a random move from Scizor, which includes U-Turn. I think the best play is to risk one crit on Miltank. Because worst case, I lose Miltank and the fight just continues. Don't do it. I've been crit by Leaf Storm before this run. Nice. It's guaranteed Power Whip now. Which kills with like three crit rolls. It's just camera up, take two Power Whips, recover to 55%. 
Okay. Camera up can't get crit, which is why I played it this way. We're using like all of our last citrus berries here, by the way. Is this even Scizor? It, it might be Galissapod. I think I'm too high HP now. Yeah. All right. Um. So it's always liquidation. This kind of messed up everything, but we'll figure it out. Oh, it does so much damage. I don't even think I can go Brelum. Not really. I guess Brelum isn't really doing anything except for pivoting, right? I can go Breloom into Gliscor. I think Breloom HP is less valuable, plus we can get Effect Spore. I think I actually need all the HP I can get on Lantern. That's unlucky. But this is always Leech Life. Now we trigger its emergency exit with fly. Is this Scizor? That's wonderful, actually. Okay. That is so much better than what I was hoping for. And this outspeeds. I just thought he wouldn't go to this because he would see that I would one-shot him, which would discourage it, but maybe not. We bulldoze here because this has a focus sash. The Gliscor is unbelievably good for this fight. I actually can't believe how good my encounters ended up being for this exact route. It's kind of wild. Oh, AI sees sash. Okay, thank you. That's really, really good info. All right. Okay, let's think about real quick if we want to kill this with something else. I don't think so. I think this is going to bring out Galissapod again. And we're just going to fly and kill it. Or it might go Noctowl, right? Which is also fine. Does Galissapod see a kill on this? But it also sees a kill on itself, right? So I think this is Nocturne. Or Noctowl. <laughs> Nocturne. Uh, <laughs> oof. Already mentally on the rift, boys. Um, if it's Knocked Owl, we go Lantern. I thought Nocturne because I have Lantern in the back, okay? <laughs> and then Lantern kills this and then it's Galissapod and it's probably first impression, so we can probably just go to bed. Okay, yeah. So I think killing this with Gliscor is completely fine. I can't kill this with Lantern, right? Minus one, this is as n at 90, so Lantern is slower. Okay, let's just Bulldoze again. Oh yeah, I forgot that Scizor was still alive, by the way, so... <laughs> um, that just happened. Okay. This wants to always dual wing beat. I think I go back to Crocodile, and then Gliscor on the U-turn again, right? I'm not taking a lot of damage. Earthquake doesn't two-shot, though. I think it's this into this. Do I want to stay in? For sure staying in baits Galissapod. Because he's going to U-turn. I'm dead to I'm dead to U-turn crit. I know this from earlier calcs, actually. I think I have to do exactly this. A lot of Citrus Berries used. Uh, 
All right. Don't do it, man. It's just so much fucking damage, dude. I think I discharge. Crocodile Crunch does 55. Okay, I think I can do that. I risk a crit on Crocodile, but I mean, like, I really don't see. Actually, it's not. It's like half all the crits that even kill, so. I guess if he gets. No, if he gets Blunder Policy, is fine. I'm always using Discharge here. Okay, it gets Blunder Policy now. Para would be nuts here. Good roll, by the way. Oh my god, Lantern, you're the king goat. Bro, what? Don't get crit. Perfect. You are the fucking goat, bro. It's just, this run's just never gonna die. Love, it never die. That's what I've been saying. Okay, and now Gliscor on U-turn again. This should be U-turn, right? There's an overlapping roll with knockoff, but... Perfect, and now we just kill Galissapod, and then we just kill the Scizor, hopefully. Somehow, I don't know how. That, I have not quite figured out yet. He goes first impression here, right? Because he sees that he's outsped and dead. Let down and hanging around. Fine by me. Okay. All right, it's kind of actually not over. I'm not really sure how to do this without putting into too many crits. If one of these dual wing beats crit, I die, for example, so I actually can't really stay in. And it does a f ton of damage to Crookedile, but that's fine. Um, I think it's Crookedile into Camerupt? I think that always wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's minus one citrus there, but... I don't know, this fight was so sweaty. I probably should have Orend Crocodile, but... It is what it is, man. I think that's every single citrus used up, actually. I think... I don't win yet. Yeah, because next to Wing Beat kills me. And this is uh, unlikely to kill. This is more than a range. This is a pretty bad range. Burn? Alright, and now we're being... Let's see. It Only one bullet punch roll kills, so... It's random move. U-turn is a little bit less likely. Um, but Lantern is kind of fine here. Uh, Lantern is faster, so I think Lantern is 100% safe. U-turn crit does kill Lantern. What about Miltank? U-turn crit does not kill Miltank. So it's Miltank. I think I was dead to crit there. I think lantern there, maybe? I'm not sure. Oof. 
So that was a victory, but I did use six citrus berries. I have one left. <laughs> but I get I get new ones and two fights, right? Do I get new ones after CTB? Oh, lantern was chest. Okay, I used five. Before CTB, I get new ones after the next fight? So I like perfectly used my citrus berries is what you're telling me. Oh, is it actually citrus right now? After dice, okay, okay. Kind of fucking broke cool trainer Wilton's ankles a little bit. Tiny bit. All right, we're baiting close combat so that he goes minus one. And then we kill the flame. So we were worried about this bulking up. Oh! Interesting. Okay. I mean... I'm cool with that. I thought he wouldn't go this because he's dead, but... Does he see, like, burned flame orb damage or some sh Because, like, I am nowhere near fucking dead, by the way. Um... Like, it's, it's not even, like, remotely close. I'm not dead to crit. I don't know. I mean, he's dead. Why the fuck would I knock off? Final Citrus Berry used, by the way, on the last fight before I get new ones. Okay, let's check this AI. It's pretty risk-free. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> seems accurate. PC at the healing lady house. Oh, nice. Is that before CTB? Dude, how efficient am I on my goddamn citrus berry usage, though? All right. Um, let's fucking go. I'm feeling. I'm feeling the casual thirty-two here. I don't know about you, chat. Casual thirty-two. That's pretty good! I'll take it. I'll take 10 lumberries, sure. Um, is there any reason for me to have the mock bike right now? To ride up that mud and get, like, an item? Alright, this is the final trainer before the encounter. Sharp beak, flying gem. Oh, I have the mock bike. Oh yeah, because I was in the mirage tower. Hell yeah. Hog. Oh, that's dual wing beat, huh? Damn, that's pretty good. It's not a pilot reference, chat. Sharp beak is nice here. Does this guy give you anything? Been deputizing Pokemon. Would you like me to show you show yours how to enforce an embargo? Okay, cool. We'll keep that in mind. One more trainer before the encounter, boys. Let's can do it. CTB. A um, trainer known for ending Pokemon Sapphire speedruns. They see me rolling. They do. They do be seeing that. All 
Alright, let's just hit this range. Yeah, yeah, this was always going to be Tentacruel no matter what. Okay, there's always Surf on the Switch, I think. It's probably going to be end up setting up Toxic Spikes, but it is what it is. Um, how do we want to do this? Is it worth it to Thunder Wave it? I think so. That's one layer. This is infinite weather from abilities. This is pretty unlikely to do it KO. Well, now it's not so unlikely anymore. Uh, did he... He only set up one layer of spikes, right? I'm not gonna complain about that RNG there. Okay, here's the issue. There is a chance I'm baiting random move Magmortar now. Because I will take Poison and I will take Hail Chip. And then it can be Flamethrower. Or... I, I think not Weather Ball, but I'm not sure. Um, the fact that he got the crit and the Poison is really f***ing awkward. I can go Gliscor and kill, and it will bait Bear Tick. Two layers of spikes would have been better, but I could still get it here. Because Miltank getting Toxic Poison is better for me. Everyone getting Toxic Poison is actually better for me. I think Gliscor Switch is good here. The question is, can I ever get into a situation... ...where I can bait Scorching Sands again? It's possible I can't. The reason it's better to get Toxic Poisoned here is because I will be pivoting between these two. So Miltank will only ever take the first instance of Poison. Um, which does less from Toxic Poison than it does from regular Poison. But I can still get the second layer here. If Gliscor also gets poisoned here, it's really awkward, but I think this is still correct. Okay. Because I think this is bear tick now and it actually sets, up, sets us up pretty well. You guys don't wash your towels at 60? Am I crazy? Okay. So the idea here is kind of that we go back and forth between Gliscor and Miltank and try to get him to minus, try to get him to use three superpowers. One will be absorbed by White Herb and then two will get him to minus two so that camera up can always kill. This is Thick Fat. So we will not be taking a lot of damage from this. But um, the poison is obviously awkward. That's still a lot of damage, but... I, I'm pretty sure it bases it if it uses Icicle Spear or not on 3 hit, right? Which I think is going to take a while before I get into range of that. Well, I say that. Anyway, this is always super power. We need to get this going somehow. Let's get not five hit now. We do we do still have a citrus berry as well. I think we're still okay, I think. I think we can go camera up on the second on the on the third superpower actually. I 
to hit. Ugh, this is so awkward. But this is never Icicle Spear, I think. It should be 12, 24, 36. I'm pretty sure this is superpower. I can't go mill tank. Can I go Houndoom? But the problem is Houndoom might be at Rock Slide. Depending on what he rolls here. It's pretty likely to bait Rock Slide. I can't go camera up yet. No, I died to two Aqua Jets. I need one more defense drop before camera up can one shot. I think I gotta go Pangoro. Uh, but if I go Pangoro, I lose my Pecha. Which means I'll be poisoned for the dugong <sighs> this is gonna be a really tight landing it can't be houndoom i think even if it's two hit it will go to plus poison damage i'm pretty sure i'll be in rock slide range i guess like can i do i think pangoro can beat this if it's poisoned i think the answer is kind of no like, this is already the shakiest part of the fight, is Pangoro into Dugong. I think- I think I have an idea. I think I can go Camerupt. I can Rock Slide once, and then get into, get, go into Pangoro and kill with Bullet Punch. And I think that actually baits Dugong. The problem is if I go Camerupt now, and he... I probably just died to Aqua Jet, actually. I can't do this. I think even Houndoom 2 hit is likely to bait Rock Slide. Safest option here is to... Um, sack Miltank. I can actually lose to this Dugong. Like, pretty easily if I do the Pangoro pivot now. I think I'm gonna go Miltank. And if I have to sack, I sack. But like, I probably always sack, right? Is there like even a way where I don't sack? Cause like, yeah, 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 no, it's, it's just too much damage. I think I'm gonna try to go for the Houndoom high roll. Let's see a two hit. Okay, yeah, now I'm in rock slide range. Oh, this is actually fucking aqua jet range, by the way, but that doesn't matter because he's faster anyway. So I just hope he clicks uh, superpower now. Actually kind of unlikely, unfortunately. There's some aqua jet rolls that kill, so it's less than 50-50. Let's just see superpower. Okay, I think now it's sack mill tank, right? Or sack something. It's probably mill tank. I need Pangoro for Dugong. So if I use Pangoro here, I have to kill it with Pangoro, which is not going to happen because he's just going to superpower. I can superpower back and I can go back into this on superpower and do the camera up play. But then I've used up the Petra Berry. I think it's sack mill tank. I'm sorry, boys. It was just a two hit, but I think it's just dead. It's not dead. This is random move. If this is rock slide or superpower, 
Or two hit, or three hit Icicle Spear. I think camera up is safe. The uh, the priority stuff shouldn't matter because he's always faster anyway, so it should not Aqua Jet, right? Or like it, it can, but it, it it's just as likely as anything else. I think Icicle Spear three hit is also enough to kill me from there. And I'm kind of out of options at that point. Um, I guess I can go Pangoro and tank a superpower and then just die to Dugong um, and then wipe. Pangoro is already not guaranteed to deal with Dugong by the way. I can't unfortunately um, pause this next ad so we're just gonna have to run it guys. I'll think while it runs okay I'll be right back. I have to sack mill tank if I don't I'm essentially coin flipping the whole run. All right. Superpower is pretty huge here. So, here's the thing. I am like super not out of the woods. No, I have to kill this with Camerupt because it will bait Scorching Sands from Magmortar. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm always going cam camera up here, 100%. Um, this thing is minus two. I need to just kill with Rock Slide. And then it's Magmortar Scorching Sands that I can kill with Gliscor. The problem is then it's guaranteed Blizzard. Um, and I'm switching Pangoro into Blizzard, so I'm already like losing against um, Dugong. But I think this is the best shot I have. Yeah, this should be guaranteed Scorching Sands, I think. This is correct. Thank god. Alright. Gliscor one speed point faster than um, Magmortar here, by the way. Alright, Pangoro. I honestly, I'm not sure <laughs> how am I gonna, how am, yeah, I'm even gonna win this. Um, it should always only ever be Blizzard on this switch. There's no pivot I can do. It's just, I just have to eat it. So this is why we went Petra Berry. So Brook Break and Bullet Punch does not kill this, unless I roll, no, even if I max roll. If I get frozen here, it's kind of GG. Okay. Um. Okay, that's... Bad. Well, no, that's actually... Well, he's gonna start protecting me as Ice Body and Leftovers and... Um, it's doing chip to him, and for me it doesn't matter because I was dead in three hits anyway. I think it does chip to him, right? I guess if he protects it doesn't. Like, I, I just don't know what the AI does here. Yeah, it's just so fucking stupid, man. I need to get one Brick Brick off. Okay, I have a play. I'm gonna go into Lantern here. And Lantern is gonna have to die. Which is real fing bad for the run, but it's the only way I survive. Unlucky. I think I live. 
I mean, he saw a kill. Lantern is faster. But I think he just protects, right? And then it's GG. Yeah. I have to click it. I think if I want to live, I actually have to T-wave, right? Oh yeah, he's gonna see a kill here. Okay, he's not gonna protect. The question is, do I need to T-wave? Yeah, because otherwise it's just gonna heal back up. Okay, so sack lantern. Goodbye, brave soldier. And then I think it's Pangoro Sack. Pangoro's not dead to Blizzard, so he wants to protect. Oh, I guess I get poisoned on the switch back here, huh? I'm always gonna get a brick break off at least. And then I can kill with camera upped. I mean I guess he can get full para. Huge. Lantern from a can beyond the grave actually saves Pangoro here. It's not quite over because he can protect still. Um, but this looks pretty good. No, he sees a kill, so yeah, okay. I mean we're alive! But, you know, <laughs> those are pretty bad losses. <laughs> those are pretty f***ing bad losses, boys. Ugh. Jesus. Alright, time for the god encounter.